Welcome to the Law Firm Marketing Minute, your source of internet marketing inspiration. Hey everyone, and welcome to the Law Firm Marketing Minute. I'm your host, John Henson. Uh, as I am recording this, uh, just back from uh, PodFest, I know on last week's episode, I mentioned it, I kind of recorded ahead because I wouldn't have been here uh, for t- uh, to record the actual episode, but yeah, I mean, you get it. It's, you know, showbiz stuff. Um, but I wanted to kind of talk about everything uh, that I learned at PodFest because um, I think there are a lot of great applications for how you approach your business, some good reminders and, and stuff like that. So if you're not familiar, PodFest is uh, just a big conference dedicated to podcasting. Um, there were a lot of other elements uh, to it, but I mean, the general uh, theme and subject matter uh, of the show or of the expo was around podcasting. Um, there were other elements around, you know, social media, video, uh, some, you know, marketing and PR sorts of things. So yeah, it was, it was a marketing conference, but it was mostly centered on podcasting. And, you know, I went there because, you know, like, you know, we've said it before, you know, podcasting is a hundred percent the future of, uh, you know, where marketing is going, it is going to become uh, a, a big part of, I think, any good business's marketing strategy, any good thought leaders marketing strategy, especially, you know, in the small business space. Uh, and, and so I wanted to go, I wanted to see what other people were doing, uh, how other people, you know, kind of built their shows, the processes that they used, uh, you know, the the strategies and everything that was going on. And what I ended up learning was that, you know, the the conference for the most part was geared towards people who do not have uh, a marketing background. And so for me, a lot of the sessions that I went to um, were more so validating um, kind of our approach to marketing, how and why we do things even, you know, beyond podcasting. And so, so that was really nice, you know, and, and just the, the feeling around content in general and, and the value that it has. Um, you know, we've talked a lot before about how a lot of marketers are very focused on, you know, just going out and generating new leads and there's not enough focus on, nurturing and educating and and moving those leads along your pipeline to to warm them up and make a decision and you know most everyone that i met at podfest or heard speak at podfest had that nurturer's mindset you know they they saw the value of content as you know making people thought leaders as you know elevating you as the expert you know and, and that's the kind of stuff that we've been we've been talking about for years at this point so it was really validating to see that. Um, it was also just good to get other perspectives. Um, you know, we talk we talk a lot about um, you know how SEO really isn't that important, and there are there were people there who uh, say that there's a ton of value uh, in SEO for podcasting. You know, and and how Google sort of indexes podcasts and ranks them. You know, based on the subject matter that you're um, covering, how you organize the show notes, transcribing it, all that kind of stuff. And so, if you're still on that fit, on that train, by all means, like you know, here's some more ammo for you. Uh, that that podcasting you know provides benefits even beyond uh, the content marketing space. Um, probably though, the biggest. Uh, takeaway that I got um, that I think would apply to you is just how important it is to get out and go learn, you know, and I know as lawyers, you have to have CLE credits, you know, to continue practicing and, and, and all of that. But I'm, I'm saying, you know, obviously definitely attend your bar conferences, um, you know, get out there, network, meet other lawyers, uh, come see vendors like us. Um, you know, quick plug, we will be at Florida Bar and the North Carolina Bar Conference here at the end of June. So come come see us. But, um, you know, go to your bar conferences, you know, sit in on the sessions, you know, never stop learning, you know, just because you're out of out of school, 
formally doesn't mean that your education has to stop. Doesn't mean that it will stop. You know, I, I think the I think if we changed that sort of perspective, um, you know, I think a lot of people they get out of school and they just feel like they don't have to learn anything anymore or the bare minimum. And so every new piece of technology that comes along, every new sort of social construct that comes along, you know, people get burned out and annoyed really quickly because it's always just another thing to learn. You're always going to be learning. Life is a constant uh, track of learning and evolution, uh, you know, internally and growth. And so, um, you know, get in that mindset to where you're never going to stop learning and, and really seek out um, things that you can then go learn about. So, you know, definitely your bar conferences, but then also, you know, if your budget allows it, really, really, I, I cannot recommend enough going out to uh, a, a, a conference that relates to how you run your business in some way, whether it's a marketing conference, whether it's a tech conference, you know, like ABA tech show, I know is very huge. Uh, Clio puts on a great conference every year. Um, you know, you're, even if you're dead diving into the content world, go to PodFest next year, you know, whatever the case is, you know, really, you know, make a point every year to just go somewhere to learn about something that will help you run your firm better uh, and, and talk to the vendors that are there, you know, see how they can help you, you know, will it, you know, will you get, you know, a lot of new emails in your inbox that you may not necessarily be interested in when you first sign, you know, when you give them your business card, maybe, but having those conversations with those vendors is valuable because you can get some ideas, you can get some resources and information that can help you then run your firm better, you know, and, and you know, the biggest thing that I took away with, you know, I did not admittedly, when I went to PodFest, I did not learn any new marketing process that I wasn't already aware of. But what I did learn, I learned about some different organizations. I learned about um, some different ways to study analytics. I learned um, just about some extra value, you know, just some different tactics I can do to add value to people I have on center stage or other podcast, or um, how we can add value to our clients in, in, in certain ways. And so I still walked away with a ton of value, even if I was probably on the more knowledgeable side of attendees there. And I, I definitely want to, even if I don't go to PodFest next year, which I'm leaning towards doing it again next year, but even if I don't go to PodFest next year, I want to go to another conference, some sort of marketing conference where I can just learn about something. And that is, you know, it was a good reminder that you're never going to stop learning and that there's always something out there to be learned. So um, hopefully that inspires you uh, to look into some conferences. Uh, I know we're in bar conference season for a lot of states. Um, if you are in Florida or North Carolina and you are attending uh, your bar conferences uh, in Orlando and Winston-Salem respectively, uh, come by and check us out. Uh, you know, Jana, uh, and I think Sophia are going to be down in Orlando for the Florida conference. I will be up in Winston-Salem for the North Carolina uh, conference. So come by the booth, say hi, um, get some of our resources. We're going to have bottles of Macallan Rare Cask to give away, which is a crowd favorite every single time. Um, so put your card in for one of those. Um, and, and yeah, and, and if you're not going to be in one of those states, um, or even if you are, uh, you know, last week in the uh, in the bonus episode in the live stream, we talked about the brand new 2022 legal marketing trends report that just came out. Um, go to spotlightbranding.com slash trends22, trends22, uh, to get your copy of our legal marketing trends report. And if you missed last week's live stream or even the download, if you're listening to it on podcast, uh, go back, listen to that episode because I go through 
through it. It's pretty long. I go through, break down a lot of the statistics in there, a lot of what we learned. Um, so it'll give you some extra context for if you download the report and, and read through it. It's a big report, right? Uh, you know, uh, Clio's trends report every year, I, you know, is typically around 70, 75 pages. Ours is 100. Um because we went really deep in this, but we also wanted to make it very visually appealing um, so that it wasn't just a bunch of text in your face and, and something that you would drown in. And so um, I will have physical copies of the trends report uh, with us at Florida and the North Carolina Bar Association. So come by, grab one of those if you would like, but uh, otherwise go to spotlightbranding.com slash trends to two to get your free copy of that report and check out uh, the previous episode of Law Firm Marketing Minute to get some more context around what all is in that. And that's going to do it for us this week. We'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us. Please visit lawfirmmarketingminute.com for more information. We'll see you next time.